When new people join an organization, there are certain things that always have to be done. The new employees will, for example, need some equipment. And the people responsible for arranging that must be informed. I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. And in this demo, I'll build two different flows. Both create SharePoint tasks with information about new staff and the equipment they need. But in the first flow, the equipment is hard-coded. In the second flow, it is instead fetched from a SharePoint list. Here I have a custom employees list with staff information. New people are added here as new items when they are hired. The list has three columns, first name, last name, and a choice column called position. The choices are finance, management, and production. I also have a workflow tasks list, and here is where the flows creates tasks for the equipment. Each task contains information about one piece of equipment and the name of the new employee who needs it. The equipment depends on which position the new employee is placed in. Finance staff needs a computer and a desk, while managers should have a computer, a Visa card and an office. People in the production need a tablet and protection gear. By using one task per equipment item, we can distribute the responsibility for each equipment item to the appropriate person. Now, I'll first show where each piece of equipment is hard-coded. This means that the flow must be changed every time there is a change in the equipment requirements. If you don't do that, the flow will stop working. I will use an automated from blank flow, and the trigger should be SharePoint when an item is created. The item here is of course the item that was created for the new employee in the employees list. I need to determine which position the new employee has, so I'll add a condition action. It will look for the new item's position value, so I'll add the dynamic content for that. If this value is equal to finance, the condition is true, and the flow can create two new items in the workflow tasks list for a computer and for a desk. First, I'll add a create item action for the computer that the new person in the finance department needs. The computer item in the workflow tasks list will have all the information in the task name field. I'll hard code computer for, and then I'll add the dynamic content for first name and last name. Now I'll copy this action to use it again. When I add the action for the desk, I can get the copied action from the clipboard. Then I just have to change the piece of equipment from computer to desk. If the condition is not true, I'll add another condition that looks for the management position. I don't have to create it again, Instead, I can copy this condition with its two create item actions. Then I'll get it from the clipboard and change the position value to management. Now we have a true and false for that condition instead. The manager also needs a computer, so I don't have to do anything with the first create item action under if yes. In the second action, I must change the piece of equipment to Visa because managers need that. Managers need an office also, so I'll add the create item action from the clipboard and change the equipment item to office. Now we've added actions that create tasks for the finance and management departments. If both the conditions are false, the production value must be production, right? And the production staff should have a tablet and protection gear. So under this condition, if no, I can add the create item action from the clipboard again. First, I'll change the action so that it creates an item for a tablet. Then I'll add the action again and change it so that it creates an item for protection gear. To test this flow, 
I'll add a new person in the employees list. I'll call her Violet Johnson and she'll be in the management. Now the flow should create three items in the workflow tasks list. The computer, the visa card and the office. Yes, here we have the three items, so this flow works as it should. As I said before, this flow must be changed every time a piece of equipment changes, as the equipment is hard-coded in the flow. If we let the flow fetch the equipment from this custom hiring settings list instead, we don't have to modify the flow each time there is a change in the equipment. And here is where I've entered the equipment. As you see, there's one item for each piece of equipment. With this list, we can also easily set and change a responsible person for each item. I've renamed the title column to To Do in this list. The list also has a choice column for a position, with the same values as for the employees list, finance, management, and production. The result of this second flow will still be one item per piece of equipment in the workflow tasks list, but now a default assignee will be fetched from the hiring settings list and added as well. I'll again start from an automated blank flow and I'll use the same trigger as in the earlier flow, SharePoint, when an item is created for the employees list. Now I'll add the action SharePoint get items. As it is now, this action will get all items from the hiring settings list, but we don't want to have all the items. We only want those items that have the same position value as the new item in the employees list that triggered the flow. To achieve that, we'll use a filter query. The query reads the position value from the trigger item and gives us all items in the hiring settings that has the same position value. So if the position value in the new item is finance, the get items action will fetch the two items from the hiring settings list for the computer and for the desk. Now I'll add an apply to each action to loop through the items that were fetched by the get items action. The output should be the dynamic content value from the get items action. We want to create a task in the workflow tasks list for each piece of equipment. So I'll add a SharePoint create item action to the apply to each block. At task name, I'll hard code new employee and then add the dynamic content for first name and last name from the new item in the employees list that triggered the flow. The new employee needs the piece of equipment that is found in the to do column of the item in the hiring settings list that we got from the get items action. At assign two claims, I'll add a custom value, and that is, of course, the dynamic content assigned to claims from the get items action. As you see, this flow was much quicker to create, so now I'll just test it. But first, I'll turn off the earlier flow so that we only have one flow running on the employees list. I'll create another new employee, John Brown. He'll work in production, so he'll need a tablet and protection gear. Now the flow should run and create two new items in the workflow tasks list. Yes, here they are, and the equipment is correct. Thank you for watching this demo.